Hi, this is Deface Games, and today we are featuring essential early game tips for Starfield. Yes, Bethesda's long-anticipated game Starfield is finally out. This space exploration adventure brings something new and different from their renowned Elder Scrolls and Fallout series. And after spending plenty of time in the game, it's clear that Starfield is a mixed bag in its current state. While it has many flaws and doesn't revolutionize the gaming world as some of us expected, still it does offer an enjoyable experience for all fans. In this video, we will cover a number of most essential tips which will help new players in their journey across their playthrough. Without further duo, let's get started with your character creation. When new game starts, you wake up as a miner on a remote planet, but soon going to become a space explorer. After the starting scene is finished, you will be presented with character creator. Our suggestion is that do not spend too much time here, just pick a character preset and you will thank us later. When proceeding, you are going to get bombarded with number of classes and traits to choose from. That's where you need to decide carefully. Your character's background grants you free skills, specifically three skills to start with. For a good exploration-focused approach, stamina and weight management are the most important attributes of game. So backgrounds like Bounty Hunter or Soldier or Long Hauler are the best options to pick, as these have access to balanced essential skills. Of course, you can get all of these skills related to other backgrounds later by spending your skill points, but good stats in beginning of game are worth a lot. Traits define your character's unique characteristics, offering both advantages and disadvantages. We do not recommend faction-based or negative traits, instead opt for neutral traits which have easily tolerable downsides. Like Taskmaster which can massively help you in space fights. Secondly, try Alien DNA for overall improvements. It does come with some trade-offs but you can remove those at a doctor's office later. And finally, wanted trait which will spawn some bounty hunters from time to time, in other words, free loot for your character. Skills are the backbone of your character's progression in Starfield. Plan your skill choices wisely since there's no way to reset them as of now. We can list some of the most essential tier 1 skills for you. Just make sure you get these first before going deeper into skill trees. Firstly from physical tree, get fitness and weightlifting for increased stamina and carrying capacity. Then get the stealth skill to enable hidden indicator. From tech tree, Boost pack training is must for double jumping and security for lockpicking. From combat tree, ballistics and lasers are great for better weapon damage outputs. From social tree, get the theft skill for pickpocketing and persuasion for dialogue options effectiveness. For space combat, piloting and targeting control systems are must have skills from tech tree. You can skip the science skill tree entirely, those skills are not worth much in early game. Don't get lost in Starfield's vastness and millions of tasks. Prioritize the main quest primarily for major rewards, companion unlocks, and beneficial bonuses. You can use the missions menu to track things, especially companion quests, and do consider completing the side quests based on which area you are currently in. Do pay attention to activities, as they can start new quests when triggered. There are plenty of small repeatable quests, which you can just ignore if you do not have enough time. Starfield is featured as a space exploration game, but there's really not much to explore except the places where quests take you. Hence, you can skip most of the running and loading by simply fast traveling. Once you discover a planet, you can just fast travel to any available location on it instantly. Use this to complete missions, do not just run from point A to B, because you will find nothing other than same barren terrain, just open up your map and teleport away. Note that you can fast travel from interiors and even target distant quest markers in space for swift navigation. Stamina is even more important than your HP. Boost your fitness skill as much as you can to increase your stamina. You'll do a lot of running in Starfield, more stamina means less downtime, and it's going to be especially helpful when navigating large planets. Bonus tip, always carry a mining cutter with you, it's crucial for many quests and lets you mine rare resources on most planets. Lockpicking and hacking have been combined into digipicking in Starfield. Purchase digipicks whenever you can, move multiple picks at once, and investing in level 2 of the security skill can save you a lot of time and frustration in long run. Unlike previous Bethesda games, junk items have lost their significance in Starfield. Focus on resources and manufactured components instead, as they are essential for crafting and building. You can easily differentiate them, with resources going to your resource category, and junk goes to miscellaneous category. Early in the game, you might be tempted to collect low-value items worth just a couple of hundred credits. However, in Starfield, these amounts are relatively insignificant. Most items cost thousands or even tens of thousands of credits, it means you can just safely skip everything below 200 credits unless you really need that item. Utilize your spaceship's cargo hold for storing resources and loot. These stored resources are accessible at crafting tables across the game, making it a powerful and lucrative feature. Plus, you can sell items directly from your ship's inventory at various vendors. 
Consider upgrading the ship's cargo capacity as much as possible as it's going to come handy for you always. The Lodge, your main base in the Constellation, houses every crafting table in the game in its basement. This fast travel location provides quick access to crafting, saving you a lot of time and load screens. This is the very best location in entire game for all of your crafting needs. There are four distinct jetpack types in Starfield, each with its advantages. Experiment and choose the one that suits your playstyle but in our opinion, the power boost pack is excellent for quick escapes in tight situations. It gives you the biggest jump which is far more handy than the features of other jetpacks. Outposts are rewarding but complex overall. Initially, focus on familiarizing yourself with other game mechanics before diving deep into outpost management. Recruit extra crew members who can join your ship or improve outpost production. Later on you can learn to assign them remotely when needed, but for the early game you can safely ignore this for a while. One crucial but often overlooked feature is the in-game help menu. It provides a wealth of information and tips about the complex systems in Starfield. Make sure to consult it, especially when diving into activities like outpost building in mid to late game. Many of the game features are clearly defined here, so before googling, it might be a good idea to take a look in help menu first. By following these tips, you'll navigate the complexities of Starfield more smoothly and enjoy the game to its fullest. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button, it helps us out, and if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing for more gaming insights. Thanks for watching.